fish. Got him. Got him, guys. Oh, big boy. It's the big boy. Well, we are really excited to hit the river today, guys. We got one goal today, and that is to catch an Atlantic salmon. So we're gonna be throwing a few different methods at them. This is just one of those fall days where you just wanna be outside. It's just beautiful out here. It's gonna be a great day. We got Dipsy. We got Dipsy getting a little energy out this morning. Dipsy and Maggie. What do you think, Mags? She's doing pretty well with the water. She's not so sure about the waves and stuff, but on the river she's been doing really well. But we'll see. We're hoping she'll be a water dog. Getting a little energy out this morning, hey? Yep. So what I'm doing here guys is I got the boat position so what we're fishing is just straight out or just down from us so what I'm doing is I'm casting straight out and I'm letting it swing and twitching it until it's right behind the boat so I'm kind of using a you know a mix of a methods here um, between swinging and twitching like I said I'm not a fly fishing expert by any means so if you have any suggestions feel free to drop them in the comments and I'd love to read them um, but pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just swinging this and I'm twitching it at the same time these fish have been really aggressive towards stuff like this um, just we've had a lot of chases a lot of follows but this is pretty bright out here right now and there's been a lot of boat activity today so we're hoping as the Sun starts to set that they'll become more aggressive and commit to something a little more so right now I'm put, got the boat position. You know, most of these fish are just kind of cruising back and forth and they're cruising right over top of all these logs. So that's why we're using a fly that doesn't have any weight to it. That way it's not sinking down anywhere near the bottom. You know, it's about halfway down and we want these fish to come up and chase after it. Oh, he came after it. Oh, Max, I just had one come after it. Fish, fish, oh, got him, got him, got him, guys. Oh, the little one came and grabbed it. Oh, I'm gonna get on the reel here. Oh, he just jumped. Oh, man, gosh, I'm nervous right now. It's not a monster, but it's a fish, it's an Atlantic. Okay, we got a got a little bit of an issue here. Oh, he just jumped. He just skyrocketed. I'd been swinging. There was a few of them in this deep pocket right in front of this log jam. And I've been swinging it and I saw him come out and chase after it and grab it. That was so cool. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. He's in so many logs right now, you guys. Oh. 
I am nervous right now, guys. I haven't been this nervous for a fish in a while. I mean, we tried beads, we tried jigs, twitching jigs, nothing. And he came out and chased. We had a couple chases, twitching a marabou jig back in. Oh, oh is it <laughs> oh. oh, I got the net stuck in a log, guys. I was just going to net him. He's going around. Oh, got him in the net, baby! <laughs> got him in the net, guys. Guys, this is a cool looking male Atlantic salmon. He's been in here for a little bit, but just a real aggressive fish. That was so cool. It's pretty cool, man. We're gonna get him going right back, but just an awesome little fighter. It's a nice, pretty fish. We'll talk a little bit about my setup here in just a second. Just gonna revive him just a bit. There he goes. Right back down into the hole. So what I'm running here today, guys, is this is a one to two handed switch rod. This is an echo switch rod. It's a seven weight. And uh, I, th I think it's a 10, six, a 10 foot 10. And this is, like I said, it's a one to two handed switch rod. And this line, this fly line I have on here is a T11. It's an intermediate sinking line. So this line's perfect for fishing water about three to four feet deep. Now where we just caught this fish, I mean, I know it looks really shallow, but this water is gen clear. So it's about seven, seven, six, seven feet or so. So these Lannix are sitting down towards the bottom, but we want these flies as they're coming through the water our flies and our jigs with bobber fishing to be about halfway down just above those fish. And these fish have really been reacting to jigs, marabou jigs that are twitching and our flies that are twitching and swinging through the water. So what we're running for leader today is just 12 pound Seaguar Red Label. So this is kind of light for what I like to do with fishing streamers and flies just because most of the time when they hit them they're pretty aggressive. I'm going to tie this fly on here with the loop knot. So that way the fly has its maximum action. It'll have a lot of action. So I have this line doubled up here. I'm gonna come up about six inches. I'm gonna twist it around. So I got my loop. I'm gonna put my fly back through this loop. I'm not a fly fishing expert by any means, but this is what just uh, works well for me. So see this loop there? I'm gonna wet that. I'm gonna pull that loop tight. Now you can see that way that fly is free falling. You can free free ride on that knot. That way it's gonna have a good erratic action when it's swinging through the water and you're twitching it. That seems to make a big difference. So I'm gonna trim that tag end piece there. Now a lot of times, like I said, when I'm swinging or twitching flies, I'll go with a, like just about a 20 inch liter of 15 pound fluorocarbon, but since this water is gen clear, we're just gonna use 12 just kind of take it easy so on the other end of my leader here i'm going to tie another loop knot so i'm going to tie this other loop knot i'm going to wet it i'm going to trim it okay now i'm going to take my fly line here now on the end of this fly line there's a little loop you can see this little loop here so i'm going to take the loop on my leader I'm gonna thread it through that loop on the fly line. Come back through. I'm gonna take my streamer. And I'm gonna put it through. Okay, that way I can, I don't damage my fly line by just tying my knot right to it. Okay. You can see that just cinches down nice there. So then yeah, I got about, a, I don't know, that's probably about a 30 inch leader. But like I said, I'm running a little longer today. And I'm running a fly that's not weighted, so this fly is not weighted at all, because like I said, we're fishing in about six feet of water, and uh, these we're fishing over a lot of wood and a lot of structure, so we want these fish to come up for it and chase it down. fish got him got him guys oh big boy it's the big boy oh my gosh oh 
We're gonna pull anchor mags. There's so much wood down here. My heart is racing right now. This is a really nice fish. This is, a, it looked like a good colored fish. We're floating down. Going after him, guys! <laughs> Going after him. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a big one. Oh, it's a big fat one. Oh, she's head shaking. She's head shaking and twirling. Oh, whoo, look at her rolling down here, Magstad. Oh, she's all spun in my line, guys. She was just roll. She's all rolled up in my line. I can't tell if he's in a log or not, guys. I can't tell if he's in a log. Oh, he just came out of a log. Man, I could feel it rubbing on something. Wind's blowing us around, floating over into this log jam. Man, there's a lot of logs down here. I am so nervous right now. Oh, baby, stay on there. Come on, baby. I'm gonna hit the motor. I'm gonna try to drop anchor back here. She's all, she was, just came up rolling and just head shaking. She's all spun up in my line right now. Gosh, she was just rolling and going crazy. Okay. Off in the net. Off in the net. Look at that. Off in the net. Oh. My. That was so awesome. <laughs> I haven't been that nervous fighting a fish in a minute. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fish, dude. Oh, what a beauty. What a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, is this thing cool? Oh, look at that. Oh man. What a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so awesome. Wow, she's so pretty. That is such a cool fish. Look at those scales shining. We're gonna keep her in the water. We're gonna get a quick picture and we're gonna get her going right back. So guys, a good friend of mine, Jim P, put together this custom box of flies for me. He just, uh, we agreed upon that I would just use them for my personal use and Jim's been fishing with me for, since I started guiding about six years ago. So if you're watching this buddy, just caught that Atlantic on that fly you got for me here. Just a beautiful fish, man. What a cool looking fish. Right off here. There she goes. Back to her home. Guys, we really hope you enjoyed this short video we put together this week. We'll be back here in a couple weeks with a how-to center pin video showing you exactly how to fish and set one up. So look for that. And if you did enjoy this video and you'd like to support us, we'd really appreciate it. And all you have to do is smash that thumbs up button down below. Hit that like button right below the screen here and it really helps us get our videos out there. So we really appreciate it guys. We'll see you back here in a couple weeks and good luck on the water.